Yo, man, in my view, you are the boss. You know, you about the wealth advisor who forge your people their signature up and thief up the people their money. Is a very hype and proud girl. She come from Brownstone. She named Kadeen Thomas. A long time she had do her thing still. Everybody has said where she get money from build two story house give her a mother. She buy up how much care put in her rental. She buy a brand new crown yeah, man. 2020 CRV and scheme of the patrol and if you are self she traffic enough money for some of the top scam of them up a brownstone. But you are girl were educated our family them things are borrow she borrow money from one company but as some hero shit she go on with man Ja ja I last night, may I get the full hundred still? Yeah. Yeah, man, I want a high piece of girl. Long time she had teeth, but she get kitchen now. She originally come from Wesleyan Crescent up a brownstone, but she buy a ski mouse up a trillani. back to my view tv the people's platform the home of undiluted news reviews updates and your daily dose of entertainment don't forget to hit the notification bell leave us a comment like share and subscribe i don't bring nobody forward in your future for me everything where you see up my natural talent let me tell you something you see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple, me. Well, go on, my people. Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. Forgiveness release you from energetic connection holding you in the past. Yesterday is gone. Resist replaying the earthful chapter. Yes, healing takes time, but it will always unburden your soul and bless your heart with peace. Instead, focus on your possibility and celebrate your commitment to your happiness. You deserve the blessed life you desire. Only you can empower yourself to create a new story. Trust that you are always doing the best you can. Anyway, people, Open a list to that when I just tell you no. But hold on then now. I'm tell the people them something. When I know say I think I don't know. But if me not tell you no, it's not confirmation. Yes, the government of Jamaica, I'm a matter of fact. Yes, all of the people them wanna vote for and put them in a the parliament. Them no mean no 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 good. Yeah, them no mean no 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 good. Imagine day in day out me on a sit down, yeah. I wait for the day for come for you, them say watch on a man. We are gonna start fan off back some head. But the man them not pray that people. You understand? All the things them are pray I find more ways and means. Up the thing for the little criminal boy them round there. So our tax be as dollar, feed them. I'm a tough at the same tax dollars with them I go take some stuff in them pocket. Remember me know you know. Me know that's why I talk so. Well, I know people can give the people them some news and then me reach right there so I make one ear wag one power wag one got a big nose can do him. You want to hear him say? Imagine you just don't eat a Sunday dinner and tell your girl, say, Watch out, I go play some ball, but I know ball you can't play. You're not going to talk shop. Yes, right up at the talk shop. Let me tell you, you're going up at the talk shop now, people. Four people were stabbed, one fatally during a dispute at the exotic nightclub in Runaway Bay St. Anne's early Monday morning. Their identity has not yet been released. Report reaching on news team that around 4 a.m. in an area commonly known as Talk Shop, it is alleged that an altercation developed following an argument between individuals. Those wounded were taken to the hospital and one got placed by ice people. One of the them, you understand? I do big people business. No, 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 no. On the Ghana talk shop. Get to the duck, get up at the talk shop. Hold on now. Cause Jamaican dead. Right over Turks and Caicos Island. Let me tell you how that go.
A tab in Guan Twin of people, tab in Guan again. An investigation has been launched by the Royal Turks and Caicos Island Police following the fatal stabbing of a Jamaican man on Sunday. According to the police report, shortly after 3 a.m., they received a call that a man had been stabbed. On the arrival, they observed a man bleeding from what appeared to be a stab wound to the chest. Yes, people, them opening chest, lying on the ground, unresponsive. That being said, him dead when the police them reached upon the scene. The police report stated that the deceased who identity has not yet been released is a 33 year old Jamaican man listed as being employed as a chef. Yes, people, then top of the chef kill him, you understand? Them say, my view, we are trying to get words to him family before we give you him right name. I say, okay, do enough to do because me go back to the Jamaica come here and say them slap with the my friend. Boss said, people over here say, who are listening and I get the picture yet on the late. You see the people them in the group, them see the picture already. And the same boy when they say lay down pan the ground and him head back boss out and him name boss said. You understand? No pun intended. I saw them call him. Boss said them and them. Boss of him like a jelly. Right up a trial light sit up. I so won't get him right name. I make the people them know we're going power going right there. So and if I no gun chat our accident, don't it? Let me go down to Saint Elizabeth no man. People, if I'm not sure about nothing, I'm sure about this. Sunday, Monday, tastes better than the food where you cook on your Sunday. Yeah, man, if you don't understand me, I'm going to explain it to you. You see, after you cook Sunday, and you see the little leftovers, after you put that in the fridge, and you take out that and you add it up, Monday, nothing does sweet like that. Don't bother try to argue with me. Argue with yourself. But you see them boys that would have rush? Them not have no food for them. Yes, people, them not have the food for them, because guess what? Them rush and kill themselves off of the piece of bike. Me and the video can show us so a circle ends and come, come look on it. Anyway, I can move on with the news. A serial rapist over a three day period sexually assaulted four women, including two sisters, while their mother watched El Presley was last week sentenced to 21 years in prison under a plea deal. And what could that really cause him if he just get 21 under a plea deal? Anyway, let him up make a glim bangle for him. The 35 year old sex offender Everton Bennett, who was sentenced on Thursday by justice. Judith Pusey in the Home Circuit Court is to serve 15 years in prison before being considered for parole. This boy is supposed to get slapped with a film and off a start and fan off. Me I be honest, no, no. Bennett, otherwise called Guns of Everton in St. Catherine, had pleaded guilty on several charges on 17 indictment on November 15 last year. He admitted guilty to five counts of robbery aggravation, three counts of illegal pushing a firearm, and five counts of forcible abduction, and four counts of rape. I want to really tell me, say, this boy is supposed to stay alive? This no make no sense, people. You understand? According to the facts on the Crown case, Bennett and other men who had not been captured abducted several women between February 8 and 10, 2021. Bennett and his cronies, who were armed with handgun, used a silver Toyota Axio to pry on the victims in Bagua, Point Hill, and Spanish Town areas of St. Catherine. In the case involving the sisters, on a date in February 2021, the woman and her children were on their way home from church after 9 p.m. when they were held up and ordered into a car at gunpoint. Remember, remember, good people, now when I name gunpoint, they understand, so police can't park a post out there. The men then robbed the woman of cash and cell phone before driving into bushes where they took turns raping the daughters. The mother was forced to watch powerlessly from inside the car and I plead the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus against you. Yeah, people, the mother had a plead the blood, you understand? She left her Bible sticker and she left her Bible sticker. So link one of them and head with it. Anyways, make I move on. A student and a security guard were also abducted by Bennett and his accomplice and raped in separate incident. The police made a breakthrough investigation after one of the victims memorized the registration plate of the vehicle, which led to Bennett being captured. The police them should even capture him. The police them should have just slap him away. Yeah, man. Slap him away. The people them, yes, who him rape, would have feel much better. No say him underground. You understand? Worse right now, he might go live in a demand. Tax free might live in a demand for 21 years. Can them a fear pay or a contribute to him a eight round there. Just the system a fail, we know. Every single day I come here and I tell you no. Anglo no banglo no self. You understand? Nobody wait for them to eat and they put them round there. And speaking of that, the hopeless and him friend them are meet today and them plan for do some form of foolishness. You are going to work. I'm not talking about you. Don't worry, so you can't write that. Whilst we have not yet finalized, the proposals and we hope to do so when we meet at cabinet but it will look something like this 
for capital murder, the penalty is death. If not applied, then life without parole. For non-capital murder, the penalty would now be, or proposal, penalty would now be 45 years to life, or rather, life imprisonment, and you must serve 45 years before consideration of parole. There is no question that somewhere over these many years, murderers have gotten it into their minds that the penalty for murder is not the death penalty. They have gotten it into their minds that the penalty for murder is not life imprisonment. And that somehow, with a good lawyer, they will be back out on the street to enjoy their life. Our penalty remains. If you take a life and you're convicted of such, your useful life should be taken. So while there are many issues around the death penalty and how it is used, there should be no issue around the incarceration of someone who deliberately, willfully, repeatedly takes life. Our penalty system must reflect our value system and in our civilization, in our society, we all value life. The present penalties devalue life.